So there used to be more than 800 Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips restaurants across the country, but now there's just one freestanding location, and it's in Cuyahoga Falls. After closing on Sundays last summer because of staffing, this year's Lenten Fish Frenzy has business booming again. Three fish and chicken. Well, it wasn't supposed to last this long. Well, I started in 1977, what I thought would be a six month uh, stint. He just wanted to make some money for grad school. Now, Ben Vittoria has 45 years on the job and owns the very last Arthur Treachers in America. And every time I was ready to leave, I got promoted. He used to own 16 of these restaurants. Now, it's just Cuyahoga Falls. Some of them, you know, they closed because the, the leases expired or there were in malls that have closed. A franchise that started in Columbus, drawing customers from across the country. There's a, a nostalgic appeal to Arthur Treachers. A lot of the people that you see today, uh, you know, were introduced to Arthur Treachers from their parents or grandparents. And here at home. I think ever since they opened. Now make no mistake, this dining destination is the stuff of a lot of family traditions. My brother worked back, oh, probably in the middle 80s. He worked here, but when they were down at the other location. And Vittoria is part of the family, often seen chatting up his regulars in the dining room. I just love the relationship I have with my customers. Regulars who may not be ready to let him go, even if he has his eyes on the horizon. That I should not retire, although I tell him that I want to someday. I guess because it's been here so long, you just think it's going to be here forever. <laughs> now, don't worry, Victoria's not planning on packing it up anytime soon. This has been a, a, a pleasant and a, at times a bittersweet uh, voyage for me, uh, but it's one that I would like to continue. This year, Arthur Treacher's in Cuyahoga Falls marks 50 years in business. The city's mayor even proclaiming June 30th as Arthur Treacher's Day, and the restaurant is planning a big celebration for it. Rob Court.